Good happy Wednesday morning, January 30th, 2019. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. First up, Patriots and Rams getting ready for big games. Let's take a listen to the video from WMR News 9, Jamie Staston. Instead of shoveling snow this season, get your own Kubota BX tractor with your choice of snow removal equipment. Subcompact tractors on the market have so much power and versatility. All right, welcome back live to the Super Bowl in Atlanta, balmy Atlanta, Georgia. It is beautiful where the temperature is in the high 20s tonight, and it is windy. You know, there are some fun and games for the players this week. In fact, some of it was tonight, some video games. We'll get to that in just a minute. But first, let's see what the teams were up to today. With opening night done yesterday, it's down to the business of doing daily press conferences at the team's hotels. That's through Thursday. Both teams will hit the practice fields tomorrow. The Rams at the Atlanta Falcons practice facility, and the Patriots have a 12:30 practice at Georgia Tech. Let's hear from some of the guys. Your offense is, is one of the best offense. It's probably going to be the best offense that we face this season. And um, last week going against Kansas City, when it gets another tough offense, and then you turn the film off for the Rams, and you're like, we got to do this all over again. I think collectively as a defense, it's going to be important for us to get after the quarterback. Uh, but first and foremost, we got to shut down their running game. They've got three elite running backs uh, that are putting up a lot of yardage, uh, which is going to be a big task for us. All right, meanwhile, the annual tradition was on tonight. Bill, there's the game before the game. Gronk against star running back Todd Gurley. They played the video game Madden 19 on Xbox. They played four quarters, two minutes each, and in the end, it was Gurley and the Rams coming out on top, 21-6, to six, something for the Rams fans to cheer about. Gronk says he will stick to making the one-handed grabs in real games. I mean, it's tough to make one-handers because I mean, you're always practicing two. You don't want to make one-handers, but you only make them when it's really necessary that you can only reach the ball. And you remember those ones because it's rare. I'm excited, man. You know, it's a blessing to get Super Bowl 53 out here. But it's, it's cool. Another opportunity, the last game of the season, so it's all or nothing. You know, you got to come with that attitude and just have fun with it. All right, so that was a lot of fun with the Xbox tonight. And one other uh, uh, note of news here from the Super Bowl, the traditional Super Bowl halftime show press conference happens every year, but it will not happen this year. The NFL says the artists will let their shows do the talking. This year's show will be Maroon 5 along with a couple of rappers. Should be interesting. We'll have more coming up at 11 o'clock live at the Super Bowl. I'm Jamie Staten, WMUR News 9 Sports. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. State House bill would prohibit coyote hunting for part of the year. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9, Kristen Carosa. Homewood's Furniture and Design Center is having a truckload sale of refining furniture at unprecedented prices. The proposed bill being discussed in Concord would prevent coyote hunting from April to August. Supporters of the bill say it would help protect the animals and their pups. They're about five months out of the out of the year, the particular time is when mothers are raising their pups, and um, that will give her a chance to do that without getting killed. But opponents argue there should not be a restriction. This is a predator versus prey bill. These coyotes are having their pups. Our does are heavy with fawns, and then when the fawns are born. Both, the animal, both of them are being heavily preyed upon. Janice Hassel of Newton agrees. They're killers. They're predators. That's what they do. Back in December, her husband let their two chihuahuas, Rocco and Coco, outside. But in a matter of moments, they couldn't be seen. And he looked up and they were gone. 
and um, he had gone around the front yard to call them. Once Janice and her family realized the dogs were gone, they searched the perimeter of their property. They did find one of their dogs, but Coco was gone. About 20 minutes later, 15, 20 minutes later, we heard the pack of coyotes right on the other side of the tree line in the backyard. And it was a mauling sound. It was devastating. I'm still devastated. Paso believes limiting hunting will cause more harm than good. If the coyotes were really in a situation where we needed to protect them and create and count, then the New Hampshire Fish and Game would have already thought of that and they would be putting something already in place for us to abide by. At this time, a representative from Fish and Game says they do not support this bill. Kristen Carosa, WMUR News Not. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And we want to hear from you. Let us know. Do you support this bill or not? Comment below and let us know. Manchester Airport officials say declining passenger numbers don't tell full story. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9. Instead of shoveling snow this season, get your own Kubota VX tractor with your choice of snow removal equipment. No other subcompact tractors on the market have so much power and... The Manchester Boston Regional Airport is a first choice for many Granite Staters. Boston's a nightmare, Manchester's easy. The price might be $50 difference. Is $50 worth the aggravation? No. But the numbers aren't so positive. The airport has seen a steady decline in the last dozen years, from more than 4 million passengers in 2005 to just under 2 million in 2017. We asked the airport's director why. And that's been a, a result of changes in the uh, larger aviation industry through mergers and acquisitions uh, throughout the past uh, 5 to 10 years as well as just changes in the uh, business models of the carriers. He says the airport is financially strong with a mix of assets. We have seen a, a tremendous amount of, uh, of increase in our cargo activity at the airport, but we also have land that we lease out to businesses. Uh, we have hangar development that goes on at the airport. All these things bring in additional revenues to the uh, airport operating budget. And while some airlines like Southwest are flying here less, the mayor weighing in saying she's encouraged by the recent commitments to increase air service from both American and United Airlines. That the 80,000 departing seats along with the incredible growth in the local business community are sure to have a positive impact on our airport. Should we be concerned? No, you should not be concerned at all. The mayor actually applauds the airport's initiative to work with local businesses to uncover needs and to promote opportunities here. When it comes to booking travel, the push is on to think locally. We're live in Manchester, Jennifer Compton, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Think locally. Granite Staters, prepare for more snow overnight. Let's take a listen to the video from WMUR News 9, Jess Moran. Instead of shoveling snow this season, get your own Kubota VX tractor with your choice of snow removal. In the Concord area, snow started to cover the roads around 8 o'clock. State police doing their part to warn drivers, tweeting this picture of the conditions with a notice to take it slow, increase following distance, and buckle up. It didn't take long for drivers to experience decreased visibility. I'd say maybe 15 feet. Okay. It's not too bad. A little freezing. <laughs> Starting to go a little slower now? Yeah, definitely. Um, don't want to go any faster than 40. It gets a little more slippery. In downtown Concord, plows started to get ready for a long night 
while granite skaters went about their regular plans. Just coming back from a movie. Just walking my dog. Can't stop walking the dog just for the weather. We just had some burritos after a run. <laughs> you ran outside in the snow? Yeah, I did. Oh, yeah, I should have worn longer tights. Yes, Kanoa and Amber went for a run just as the snow started to collect. But Kanoa won't have to worry about snow much longer. He's flying to Hawaii. Flying to Hawaii tomorrow morning. <laughs> You're flying to Hawaii tomorrow morning? Yeah, for my honeymoon. For those not flying away on a tropical vacation, another blast of winter doesn't seem to be a problem. I think it's been pretty mild so far, but I'm ready for it to, you know, amp up. Are you ready? Very. It's January in New Hampshire. If you're not ready for it, you should go down to Florida. The more snow, the better. So okay. it's been a little tame for me. <laughs> now, Amber there, she's a triathlete and she's big in the snowshoeing world. So this for her is really nothing. But again, not too many cars out on the road. That's a good thing. And those that are out there, it looks like they're taking it pretty slow along 93. In Hooks, it's Jessica Moran, WMUR News Now. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. Take it slow, and still snowing and still snow-covered roads for the morning commute. We are hearing the snow will end around 7 a.m., 8 a.m.-ish, so you'll have a snowy ride into work, so plan some extra travel time. Apple shares jump after barely beating on earnings, and iPhone sales drop 15% from last year. Apple reports the numbers for its fiscal first quarter under a new structure. iPhone revenue comes in just slightly below projection. Apple report a gross margin in its service segment of 62.8%. Internal chiefs challenge Trump's national security claims. America's top intelligence officials on Tuesday appeared to challenge some of President Donald Trump's most prominent claims about global national security issues, warning lawmakers that ISIS is still a serious threat to the U.S. interests around the world, acknowledging that Iran has at least temporarily abandoned its efforts to build nuclear weapons and insisting that North Korea is unlikely to give up its own nuclear weapons. And CBS plans for Super Bowl. Let's take a listen to this video from CBS 46. More on your Super Bowl news. Positively Georgia. CBS 46 salutes Motlick and Associates with dedicated attorneys who work hard to protect injured people and over 30 years of giving back to our communities. It's no surprise that Motlick and Associates is Positively Georgia. Today, we're getting to talk to CBS hosts about their plans for Super Bowl 53. Sports director Fred Khalil, he's in on all of this, joining us with a live look at how they're feeling ahead of the big game. And you've got a former Falcon with you, Fred. What? You know, the whole CBS crew is here. They're breaking down what they're going to do on the game. We've got Jay Feely, a former Falcons kicker. We've got a local tie. Yeah, and Jay, go way back. Jay, go way back, Jay. Hey, man. Congratulations on being on the Super Bowl broadcast. Well, uh, thank you. It's certainly an honor, you know, to be a part of this CBS family. It's great and excited for this awesome game. And what are you going to be doing as far as the broadcast is concerned? So I'm on the sidelines, one of the sideline reporters, uh, focusing really on special teams. It's a, a very interesting matchup here. you got two of the best kickers in the league, two of the best punters. you got a punter who can throw the ball as well as Tony Romo. 
You know, he's 11 from 19 <laughs> for 156 yards and a touchdown in his career. That's pretty. That's over 100 passer rating. Yeah, that is. So that is better than Tony Romo, isn't it? <laughs> you know, but, but just talk about the crew because this crew is kind of got a pretty good chemistry, doesn't it? The broadcast crew. They certainly do. You know, I think everybody likes each other. That's really what's special about CBS. It's very much a family. and Everybody gets along well. We have a great time on the road. And, and there's no egos involved. Yeah, everybody wants to help each other out, and I think that's special. You don't see that always. I know you talk about the special teams, but let's talk about the the uh, the game as a whole, you know, and how it shapes up. I mean, it's interesting. You've got, like you said, you got Sean McVay. We're older than Sean. Well, I'm older. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, I know Sean's dad, so I'm real old. But anyway, just uh, talk about the matchups, you know, that you might see. Well, I think it's interesting because you have youth versus experience, both the head coaches, Belichick and McVay, and then the quarterbacks. You know, and so you say, okay, what is going to prevail and who's going to prevail? And you always understand when you play Bill Belichick and Tom Brady, they're going to have everybody prepared and they're going to understand what you do. And Brady's told me before, you know, why wouldn't I keep playing? I have all the answers to the test right now. <laughs> you know, it's not hard for me now. So if, if, as long as his body feels good, he's going to keep playing. And so when he, he knows that he's seen everything that Wade Phillips has tried to do for him before and he's able to catalog that and, and recall that on the spot, that's a big advantage. And so you have to find ways to keep him off the, you know, being under, able to understand exactly what you're trying to do pre-snap. Um, Great. Hey, Jay Feely, thanks so much. No Former problem. Falcons kicker joining us here, and we're going to go back to our studio. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And again, we will have Super Bowl coverage throughout the week right here on the Riley King Network. You can see Super Bowl coverage every day right here on the Riley King Network. And that is it for the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a wonderful day, everyone. See you back here later on today for another newscast. Goodbye, everyone.